Good morning. Today I'm going to be doing a little vlog and it's because we are celebrating Charlie's fourth birthday. So his birthday was actually yesterday on June 4th. So it's his champagne birthday. So it's a pretty big deal. And we didn't really get a chance to celebrate yesterday because I had a doctor's appointment. So I was out during the day and Mick was doing some errands as well. So we were kind of like in and out all day and uh, didn't get a chance to properly celebrate. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're going to spend the day with him and uh, yeah, just celebrate four years of Charlie. so it's still really early. He typically sleeps in to like 10 or noon, sometimes even later. But um, let's go, uh, let's go see what he's doing. Charlie, my Charlie. Hi, good morning. Hey, do you want to celebrate your birthday today? Maybe later? Oh, wow. What do you want to do for your birthday? You want to go outside? Maybe have a special birthday breakfast? He's like, um, could you just leave me alone now? Okay. Okay, so he's probably gonna sleep for like another two hours. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, I was meaning to do this a while ago. I've always wanted to make him like some homemade, like all natural, healthy dog treats. So I'm going to look online for some recipes now. Hopefully I have ingredients, but um, yeah. So if I can find that, then I will make him some kind of dog treat and uh, that'll be his little birthday treat for today. <gasps> oh, good morning. <laughs> Happy birthday! Oh, good sketch. You're four years old now, eh? He is going to probably have his first morning nap and that's pretty typical. He always comes out, hops into his chair and then falls asleep again. Or if he hears something or sees a squirrel, then he goes absolutely crazy and then he goes back to sleep. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can find a recipe now and then um, yeah, I will show you guys what I end up making. Before we do that, I forgot all about this. So I made Charlie this birthday hat, which you can see I like scotch tape together. So every year I take a picture of him with this hat on and he absolutely hates it. Like I literally only pull it out on his birthday and I think he's just like really traumatized by it. Oh, wow. Oh, you look a little older, eh? Getting some gray. He's aging, he's getting old. Hey. Uh-oh, he's mad about his hat. 
There he goes. Hurry, buddy. just wanted to mention that what he was doing on the carpet in the nursery he does that like two to three times a day now we don't have any carpets in the house I remember when we took him to Florida we did a road trip with him and we stayed in a few hotels on the way and it was the first time he really ever was like exposed to carpets and it was just so funny he was just like rolling around scratching his back scratching his head it was kind of gross because it's like a hotel carpet but we saw how much he loved carpets so when we got the carpet for the nursery he was like he was just so excited and now it's like part of his everyday routine all right so he's gonna have his second nap of the day i still haven't made him his treat so i need to do that i'm gonna do that right now <laughs> Alrighty, so I found a recipe online for little doggy biscuits. So I'm actually gonna modify it a little bit. So we don't have any eggs because we're vegan. So I'm going to be using flax eggs instead. So the recipe calls for whole wheat flour and I've always known that like dogs are not supposed to eat wheat. So instead I'm just gonna grind up some oats and use like oat flour. And then there's pumpkin puree, peanut butter, salt and ground cinnamon. I'm gonna leave out the cinnamon just cause I don't think he's gonna really go for it. Um, but yeah, it just looks like a really easy cookie recipe. So I'm going to actually write the recipe down in my little recipe book first so that I have it for the future. And then we're gonna make it. Okay, so the cookie dough is in the fridge chilling and it's a dough that you have to roll out. So the recipe says like you can cut squares, but I'm thinking it'd be really cute to use a little cookie cutter and just cut out some shapes so that they actually look like little dog treats and then I can like store them in a jar. I'm gonna go into my pantry now. So let's go and see um, what shapes I have. I know I don't have a little doggy bone, which I am so upset about. But I know I'm gonna find something else in here. Um, okay, so yeah, this is what I was thinking to do like little hearts. And then I was thinking to do like a big cookie where it says happy birthday, Charlie. Um, but I think like this is probably the biggest cookie cutter I have. So actually I could just cut out like a big bone and write happy birthday Charlie on it. So I think that would be really cute. And I've actually never like gotten him an actual like birthday treat or even made him a birthday treat. So we're going all out for the big, uh, the big four.
the cookies turned out really really good and I realized that um, we can actually eat them too so I'm gonna try one it doesn't really taste like much of anything it just tastes kind of like an oatmeal peanut butter cookie without like any sugar whatsoever hmm yeah, they're kind of like crackers, but um, yeah, I hope Charlie likes them. And so for that bone that I made for him, I just used a little bit of peanut butter and then I added in some of the oat flour that I had already grinded up, like a really tiny amount just to make it a little bit stiffer. And it actually worked really well for the icing, as you could see. So maybe we should give Charlie one of these as a taste test. So we'll see if he actually likes them. Hey, birthday boy. <laughs> you want to treat Charlie? Okay, Charlie, you have to earn it. Charlie, hello. Hello. Okay, here you go. Ooh, I think he likes it. Yes, we did not make those cookies for nothing. I was kind of skeptical because I feel like he's really not into treats. So it's really hard to find things that he'll actually like be motivated to like do something for and earn. So this is a good one. What you doing under there? <laughs> think he knows something's up because he's usually only under there when he's sick or doesn't feel well. And he's just acting kind of strange. Come on, it's your birthday surprise. Look. His little setup, he's got his candles, which I did not light, just in case he tries to bite them or something. He's got his treats gear and his birthday hat. And I don't know why he's not coming. Charlie, come. What are you doing in here? Okay, this is your little birthday outfit. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe not, huh? Actually, we could just put it here. And maybe it won't bother you. Wow. Okay, Charlie, come. Come for your birthday surprise. Let's go. Let's go. Look what I have for you, Charlie. Happy birthday to Charlie. Happy birthday, dear Charlie. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to Charlie. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe we have to help you a little, okay? Here, I'll hold it, you can lick it off. Or Oh, okay. Uh-oh. He's on the move. Try don't take it in there. Here, buddy. Here, come. That's a lot of peanut butter, eh? Okay, I think we're gonna have to break this up a little bit. Oh, you wanna break off a piece? You wanna break off a piece? Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm thinking he probably should eat all of this. It's really thin though, but maybe one more bite. Maybe one more bite. Break it. Oh, there you go. Charlie, was that good? Are you having a good birthday? Okay, the birthday boy has requested to go outside. So we're gonna do that. And there he goes. Charlie, not on my plant. Come on, man. Honestly, he never goes on my plants. Today, it's his birthday. I guess that's what he wanted to do.
Riley and I came back from outside. He's super tired from all of his birthday celebrations. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, I would love for you to support my channel by subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Say bye, Charlie.